Hey guys, let's take a look at variables on both sides today. To begin with, we're used to doing stuff like this. Like, I don't know, you might see something like, uh, you know, when you solve equations, it might be something like, you know, 3x uh, plus 7 equals 25 or something like that. And you go, okay, I'm going to subtract 7 over here and subtract 7. I got 3x equals 18. I divide by 3 and the answer is x equals 6, right? Okay, the point is you want all your numbers on the right side of the equation. You want all your variables on the left side of the equation. So if that's not how it looks, you need to change it so the x's are all on the left side and the numbers are all on the right side. Then you can get an equation like this and then solve it, okay? So we're just going to do one extra step today. And these are problems that have uh, the variables are on the right side as well. Now, it doesn't matter what order you do it in. You can get rid of the variable first. You, you can move this over to the left side first, or you can move the three over to the right side first. Doesn't matter which one you do first. You're gonna do both of them. So who cares if you do one or the other? Let's just do this. So we'll say, let me just clear this out. We're gonna subtract three, because we don't want any numbers by the X, right? So we do it on the right side as well. Okay, so we have a new equation. 3x, that's gone, equals x, negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Good so far? Okay, now we know that, you can look at this as two ways, by the way. You can either say, oh, I'm going to subtract 3 and do this to both sides. Or you can say, I'm going to move this positive 3 over to the other side to get rid of it. Anytime in an equation, if you move something from one side to the other side of the equation, you change the sign. So if you were to move the positive 3 over here, you would turn this uh, positive 3 into a negative 3, which is just what we just did anyway. So you, you would be going like this. You'd go, I'm going to move the positive 3 over. Now it's gone. And now I have an x and a negative 5 and a negative 3, which is an x minus 8. Same thing, right? On this side, you can do either one of two things. You can either say, okay, I do not want that x over there. I'm going to subtract the x from that side. And of course, this is an equation. So you don't just go around, oh, I'm going to subtract x from, now, it's in, now I have 3x equals negative 8. Now, it's an equation. You did something to the right side. You've got to do the exact same thing to the left side. So you go over here and you go boom. Okay? Remember all that work we did on um, adding like terms? That's where this pays off. Okay? So now we have 3x minus 1x is 2x, right? x minus x gone. Okay, now we have the right side is negative 8. So we just divide by 2, and negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. And there we go. Okay. And again, you could, I'm going to go over here for a second. This is where it was for a minute, uh, for a sec, a minute ago. If you were to go, okay, I have 1x here. I'm going to move this over to the other side. If you did that, you would just go, okay, that's going to turn into negative 1x. Now it's gone. Now I have a new equation. 3x minus 1x is 2x. That equals negative 8. That's the same thing you got right here. So you can look at it either way you want. Okay, let's try another one. Um, again, you're going to look at this exactly the same way you always do. In fact, if you like doing the old way where you just did the number first, fine, let's just do it that way. So let's go ahead and go, I'm going to get rid of the negative 2. I'm going to add 2. And of course, I add 2 to the other side. 4x equals negative if you want to put 1x, you can, plus 2. Now look at that negative x. You don't want it there. Either to get rid of the x, you're going to have to add an x, right? You don't subtract an x. Then you'll have negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. You want a positive 1. So you're going to have to add the x. Or you can think like this. You can go, I'm going to move this thing over here. And if I move it over here, it's going to turn into plus x because I moved it from one side to the other. That's going to be equal to 2. So 4x plus 1x is 5x. That equals 2. The last thing you do to both sides is divide by 5, and there's your answer. x is equal to 2 fifths. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Try the practice problems on page 297. Try A first and see what you get. Okay. Well, you know, let's go to the old, uh, old reliable here, and let's subtract 3 there and subtract 3 there. And there we go. I got a negative 4x here now. And I got 7x over here, and I got negative 8 minus 3 over here. Okay. Now, again, you can say, I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. Or you can just say, I'm going to move this 7x over there, and it's going to turn into a negative 7x. Either way is fine. I'll just move it over this time. All right? So this moves over to the other side. Now it's, now it's gone. I just have negative 11 left. Okay? I'm just going to write that, negative 11. When this 7x moves over, 
it turns into negative 7x. And now I have a negative 4 of something and a negative 11, uh, uh, 7 of something, which gives me a negative 11x. Okay? Well, negative 11 times what gives you negative 11? Well, you know, if you didn't see it, I'm sure you do, but divide by negative 11. And of course, the answer is 1. There we go. Okay. All right. Try B. Give it a whirl. Okay, same thing. I'm going to clear out negative 5, and I'm just going to add the 5 to both sides. So now I got 2x, I got 6x, and I got 9. Okay, and just for being a little different, we'll just subtract 6x from this side to clear it out. Of course, we need to do the same thing over here as well, right? Okay, so now on the right, this is gone. Now all I have is a 9. That's what I want, right? That's what I want. So 2x minus 6x is negative 4x. And the last thing we have to do is, of course, divide by negative 4. And you can, I'm sure, probably do that in your head. But, I mean, the answer is going to be negative 9 over 4. And that can, you know, a positive divided by a negative is overall a negative. And there you go. Okay. That is uh, those problem types today. Give those a shot. Uh, if you have trouble, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll come to you in a couple of weeks. But just go back to the actual method and just keep using it. Okay. All right. See you all next time.